Hey everyone, I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education and today we are talking about the top eight communication and media studies schools in the world. Now, a little disclaimer before we get started, this list is based on the QS rankings of top colleges and universities around the world. So it's by no means the definitive ranking of the best communication and media studies schools in the world, but it's a pretty good ranking. It's based on things such as employee reputation, citations per per professor and more. Um, but if you wanna learn more about the Communication and Media Studies School or any other school that might be best for you, please click the link below and you'll be connected with an academic expert at Crimson Education who can talk to you about the school that is best for you, is the best fit for you, is the most realistic for you. Uh, they're great, they'll work it out with you. All right, let's get started. Number eight on our list is the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, or NTU, and their We Kim We School of Communication and Information. The We Kim We School of Communication and Information at NTU has the most comprehensive media studies and communications curriculum in Asia. Um, and there's a couple different options in terms of how you pursue your media studies there. You can get a Bachelor of the Arts in one of two combinations. One is economics and media analytics, and one is psychology and media analytics. So depending on whether you want to study media in the realm of business, or if you want to study it more in terms of thinking about how we as a society and how we as human beings approach communication and media, that'll sort of determine which one of those tracks you want to go on. Number seven on our list is Goldsmiths University of London. Goldsmiths University of London is really, really focused on a hands-on practical approach to media studies. Goldsmiths hands-on approach to media studies includes their next generation film school, which throws students into making films, into making the film to journalism, and into really actually uh, doing what it is that they're studying while they're studying it. Goldsmiths defines their academic approach as creative, critical, and radical, meaning that they're looking at things from every different angle, but also trying to take radical new approaches, whether that comes to uh, journalism or to filmmaking or to anything else within their school and their film school. Number six on our list is the University of California, Berkeley, or UC Berkeley. In contrast to Goldsmiths, UC Berkeley is very focused on a liberal arts discipline, not on a pre-professional discipline when it comes to media studies. UC Berkeley has three core courses when it comes to media studies, and they're all about the history, the values, and the structure of media, specifically in the United States, but also looking uh, a bit more internationally. Students oftentimes at UC Berkeley look both at the impact of media on public policy and vice versa, the impact of public policy on media and how those are two oftentimes inextricably linked and inform one another. Number five on our list is the University of Texas Austin or UT Austin. UT Austin is on our list in large part because of its communications major rather than uh, media. So they uh, say that they focus on two-person and family communication. They focus on communication, small groups and large organizations, communication across communities, the very nature and the building of communication of languages, of symbols and more. Um, so it's much more sort of focused on how language is built, how communication is built, um, how arguments are made, how social movements occur, how political organizations are put together, that sort of thing. Number four on our list is the London School of Economics, or LSC, which is also number one in the UK. LSE is really focused on a broad range of postgraduate programs. In fact, they have 10 postgraduate programs. They have focuses in data and society, politics and communication, um, as well as joint degrees with various universities uh, that are associated with LSE in Asia and in Africa. Um, so if you're going to LSE to focus on media studies and communication, you'll be doing it at a post-grad level, but there's a really, really broad range of um, approaches that you could take depending on specifically the postgraduate um, program that you'll be studying under. Number three on our list is the University of Southern California or USC. There's a lot to be said about the USC programs in communications. Uh, they're some of the best in the world, the third best in the world, but one of the biggest um, delineators for USC is its location in Los Angeles. So a lot of students who are studying at USC will also have internships at anywhere from 20th Century Fox to Viacom to CBS Television, Disney, Elle, Fox, NBC, um, and hundreds of other places. There's an incredible alumni network and there's an incredible uh, array of opportunities for professionals within those industries to come to USC and vice versa for students at USC to go out and have the types of internships while they're studying that will lead to lucrative and incredible and fulfilling careers in the industry. 
Number two on our list is Stanford University and their Department of Communication. Uh, the Department of Communication at Stanford is very robust and takes um, a very academic approach rather than a pre-professional approach. Uh, they study the ways in which, um, in their words, in the ways that communication techniques and technologies shape who we are, how we govern ourselves, and what kinds of cultures we inhabit. Uh, so they both look at media theory and at media practice in terms of studying these phenomena. Um, and they're proud to have trained a lot of scholars who not only excel in their fields, but who reshape their fields, um, including uh, some of the most successful high-impact journalists in the world um, and leading members in many, many, many fields. And number one on our list is the University of Amsterdam. The University of Amsterdam considers the role of communication and media in society to be its central focus in its bachelor program. In their words, uh, in that program, you study the content, use, and effects of communication and of various forms of media from radio to television to newspapers and the internet. Something that's very exciting about the University of Amsterdam's program and probably a central reason why it's number one on the list is that their communication college is linked to the uh, research institute ASCOR, which stands for, well, it stands for something that we'll research and then put here. Another exciting feature of the University of Amsterdam is the city of Amsterdam, which itself is a hub for media, for culture. Um, there's a, it considers itself to be an international junction of a lot of big uh, media companies around the world. Um, Philips, uh, ING, Heineken, the beer, uh, they all have um, large hubs at the University of Amsterdam and there's a lot of opportunities for University of Amsterdam students to go work for those companies, with those companies, while they're studying and certainly in a postgraduate capacity as well. That has been the top eight communication and media studies schools in the world, according to the QS rankings. But like I said before, these aren't the definitive rankings. It doesn't mean that you need to go to the University of Amsterdam or Stanford in order to have an incredible uh, career in communication and media studies. It's just a, a good place to start. So if you want to learn more about the school that might be the best fit for you, whether it's in communication and media studies or whether it's in something completely different, then please click the link below to get uh, connected with an academic expert at Crimson Education for free who can start that conversation with you about uh, what schools might be best for you, how to best approach your university applications, and how Crimson can help more. Um, and if you want to learn more about all these schools, subscribe to Crimson Education, watch all of our videos. We have a lot of them. Uh, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.